formed in 1949, there have been many questions asked through the years about the relevance of the NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. However, especially since the Russia-Ukraine war began, this grouping of countries has been in focus. Sweden and Finland recently joined the organization and Ukraine wants to join too. About a month ago, NATO conducted the biggest air drill since the Cold War and leaders of NATO countries recently gathered in Lithuania for a two-day summit. But what exactly is NATO all about? Why was it formed and what is its relevance today? Also, why has India never signed up despite the US trying to bait us with their NATO plus pitch? Let's dive right in. First, let's get into how NATO was formed. Cut to 1949, post-World War II, when European economies were struggling. Western Europe and the US were wary of the Soviet expansion as the USSR was installing communist governments in Eastern Europe. So 12 countries including Canada, Belgium, France, Italy, Norway and the United States formed a political and military alliance in hopes of countering this expansion by the Soviet Union. The founding members hoped that this would deter further expansion and ensure their collective security. At the heart of this pact is Article 5. According to Article 5, in the situation of an armed attack on any member of the state, it will be considered an attack on all members of the treaty and all other members are obligated to provide defence aid to the victim country. The first ever use of Article 5 was invoked after the 9-11 terrorist attacks at the World Trade Center in the US. This article is the key reason why Ukraine is pushing for membership too. There are currently 31 active countries in NATO, including France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Turkey and many others. According to Article 10 of this treaty, NATO invites different countries to join and inviting the outside country is the collective decision of all members. Countries who want to join NATO must have an agreement by all the allies. Even if a single member refuses due to some reason, then the application of the country will be halted. For example, in 2021, Sweden and Finland both applied for NATO membership. But Turkey and Hungary initially held Sweden's application as Turkey was saying that Sweden harbours Kurdish separatists. To join NATO, countries have to complete the MAP, which is called the Membership Action Plan, and they must fulfil all the requirements on the political, legal and defence level. Membership Action Plan is the open door for any country to join NATO. It was introduced in April 1999 at the Alliance's Washington Summit to help countries aspiring to join NATO in their preparations. Countries who want to join NATO can apply for membership under Article 10 of the North Atlantic Treaty. The MAP process provides feedback to assess aspiring countries' preparations, including political and technical advice. There are yearly meetings with NATO members to review progress based on an annual report. Aspirants also engage in defence planning, setting targets and reviewing their plans regularly. Being a member of the Alliance isn't free of cost. Each member of the Alliance pays a share which is decided on the basis of the gross national income of the country. The approximate amount which is collected annually by NATO members is 3 billion euros. The amount is used for NATO missions, facilities, command structure and shared equipment such as surveillance drones. Now let's take a look at why India doesn't want to join NATO+. Plus. Now NATO+, Plus brings together the 31 NATO members and five treaty allies of the United States, Australia, Israel, New Zealand, Japan and South Korea. For India to join a US-led security alliance would degrade our ability to walk the diplomatic tightrope. India has been a non-aligned country from the start. This means that India chooses to stand alone and take individual decisions in every situation. In fact, the External Affairs Minister recently clarified that India has no intention of joining NATO since the military alliance is not suitable for us. Though the US wants India to join, saying that this will help safeguard our borders from China, India has said that we are capable of countering Chinese expansion. A lot of Americans still have that NATO treaty construct in their heads. You know, So any situation they deal with, they use that like a uh, it seems almost like that's the only uh, sort of template with which or only viewpoint with which they look at the world. The reality is 
that is not a template that applies to to uh, to india india has developed and maintained its relations with almost every country and if india becomes a nato member then the country has to deal with many conflicts globally being a part of nato would essentially mean that india will get dragged into american and european countries conflicts too also india has never had a foreign military base in the country but if it joins the nato plus then eventually us may have a military base in india too like other nato plus members hope this video was useful for you for more such content stay tuned to money control